you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi. I'm here with the homie Kai, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing, doing, doing today? What's going on, everybody? We are back again, once again, episode 18 of the Full Power Podcast. Um, yeah. We, uh, I feel like this is turning into, like, a chapter summary review podcast, considering <laughs> the last couple episodes that we've had, um, but to say the least, the ob- or the obvious, um, lots of been, lots of, lots of stuff has been happening, even though, uh, we've been homebound for quite some time still, there's just a quick life update, um, yeah, still haven't worked. It's been since March since I've last worked, and I'm still not working. And birthday was the other day, and that means we're half past June. <laughs> half past June, and uh, yeah, we're almost in July, and we're still. The world is still crazy. The world is actually full power, out of control. <laughs> that's a real. <laughs> oh, that's a scary point. It is. It really is. Like, it's pretty. It's pretty shit to be honest. But um, yep. thankfully we have things like this to kind of not even just distract ourselves, but to just kind of get away from it altogether. So I appreciate all the feedback that people have uh, given me directly, whether it's been on a video in the comments or whether it's been through my streams in the chat or in my Discord. Um, I've definitely gotten feedback, um, uh, in, you know, back from, for us that we have made a, a good influence on the folks out there that are actually listening to us. So just wanted to say thank you before we got into chapter 61, because that's obviously the topic of discussion today. But, uh, before we go into it, Kai, what's, what have you been up to? Bro, it's the same old corn bullshit. I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> yeah, you remind me of my uh, my godfather. He actually, um, my fam like, well, I said my family, but only a few of them. Um, they actually came to my house, and it was it was the first time that we had guests over like in a long time, and you know, obviously during this whole thing, it's kind of like oh, like. It's weird because everyone's like, like every everyone that wasn't already wasn't a germaphobe is a germaphobe now, <laughs> and like, and then it's just funny to see how they are, like, like with all this with this going on. So Some people are never gonna take that face mask off for the rest of their lives. But yeah, like they're just right? gonna run around with that shit. Yeah, and 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 he was saying like, he's like he's like oh, I can't fucking wait to go back to work. I can't, I can't do this. I was like, wow, that's hilarious. I was like, just watch some fucking Netflix or some shit, man. Like, and he started ribbing on me on, on the shows that I watch. I'm like, you're damn right, I still watch Power Rangers. The fuck? <laughs> I was like, try again. He's like, he's like, he kept trying to name all these like shows from when I was like five. I was like, yeah, I watched it when I was five. Like, what? <laughs> so did your two sons and your daughter. Yo, freaking frick! Like the hell? I don't get it. But family. Yeah, it's family. It's family. It's all. It's all. It's all. It's all good banter. It's whatever. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I actually went. I left the house for the first time since being like home, and that this is and 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 since that time I left, I haven't left again. <laughs> um, literally, the only reason why I had I left was because. My mom kept bothering me about my my tire because my tire for the for a while now had like some kind of leak 
and I just had to I just got used to just putting air in it like every few days myself and she just wanted me to get it fixed so I was like okay so grabbed a mask and I went out I went to a tire place they found the they plugged it up they found it was like I had a fucking nail in my tire I was like how the hell did that shit happen but okay whatever so had a nail in there got it fixed it was pretty it was pretty cheap so thank god then went to Walmart ran into my stepbrother I was like holy shit I haven't seen you in a long ass time <laughs> I was like it's funny I run into you of all people so shout outs to him and uh yeah I went to Walmart I was trying to get bre brother Ooch wanted a, a basketball pump you know we're trying to ball out here but we still haven't even done that it's crazy so yeah that was that was the one time and then oh and while I was out while I was out of the freaking cage I had to go to Wawa I got I got a smoothie <laughs> I had to I had to I was like it's been months since I had a freaking Wawa smoothie and I was like I don't even know what the outside world is like anymore. It is a crazy, it's like, I'm not gonna lie, like my town is not bad where with like with the people and stuff, but it just feels weird. Like everyone's quieter, you know, I, I, you, know see, you see a lot more people with masks on. It's just whack, man. Like it's just, and you know, of course, like Wawa, they got like the glass window johns, like we're like, like we live in a bad neighborhood, like what? Like, but nah, it's for the germs. It's for the, you know, to protect the the workers and to protect the the people, the customers that come in. So it's just it's just crazy. But I haven't been out since then. I've just, you know, kept. I've been staying inside, streaming, a bunch of videos, content creation, a lot of things that are gonna be changing on the main channel um, as well too. Just a heads up for you guys. Um, and I'm talking name change. I'm talking layout as far as how the channel looks the banner the contents for the most part pretty much gonna say the same you don't have to worry about that um but i have been you know giving some attention to my video game channel and uh that's been uh it's been picking up pretty decently i should say um the ps5 got announced so there's there's a lot of crap going on it, it, with all the the actual shit happening in the world there are, there are, we have our moments where it's like, oh, snap. Things to look forward to, like the PlayStation 5. So, but anyways, let me not, let me not tangent and turn this into like a podcast about not Dragon Ball and anime. Uh, we're here for 60, chapter 61. I've had this guy waiting all day for me. So I'm no, I'm sure he's fiending. He's, he's, he's waiting to, to get this discussion out and about. So let's get it done. Let's get it freaking done. So, we starting this off. Vegeta and Moro. They're fighting. We got the blue Gatorade diamond. We out here. I can't. They... <laughs> he... <laughs> he... <laughs> he said, I can't. Um, they, they, they're pretty much... Vegeta's like, you know, full on attacking him. Seems like he's not doing much. Moro doesn't take him seriously. He's just saying, like saying, submit Vegeta. He hits him back. Vegeta's still like, you know, he's still he's still powered up. He's ready to go. He keeps charging him. Moro's like, what the hell's going on? Like what? Like what's what what like what the hell's wrong with this guy? Kind of thing. Um Moro of course tries to do use his patented specialty, which is the life or energy absorption. Vegeta whiffs or he has moral whiff. He, he weaves that. those. We weave those. 100%. Freaking backhands him in the freaking neck. A lot of gut checks. He kicks this man in the abdomen. A lot of gut checks. Like so many times throughout this chapter. Um, But then Moro gets his offensive in a little bit. He, he throws him into the ground. Vegeta gets back up. They, 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 they're exchanging blows. They're going back and forth. And then we start to notice something. Now, at first, I thought I was like, "Did did Vegeta just kick the literal shit out of him?" Like I, you see these like pellet orb looking shapes on the on the panel screen, or, and I'm like, "What is that?" And I was like, "Is that is that the light? Is that energy?" I knew, yeah, I knew instantly. I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "Is that energy?" So 
So now we finally have an answer as to exactly what this apparent technique that Vegeta was mastering on Yardrat, and it's called forced spirit fission. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah. So, so essentially, guys, and you know they get to it in the chapter, of course. Forced spirit fission. Say that fucking ten times fast. Is essentially a technique where the user when they are attacking the their opponent that has you know all this life energy and spirit energy whatever he the 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 user essentially like kicks and hits all of that said energy and life energy out of their body and it forms like its own little spirit bomb uh-huh. And, and at first, I'm not gonna lie, I sat here and I was like, yo, is he about to fucking throw this shit at him? <laughs> yo, well, imagine he kicked that, like... <laughs> yeah, right? Now, and again, oh, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, again, like, he, you know, a lot of gut checks. This man, this this, this guy Vegeta kicked the shit out of Moro so many times right in the stomach that it was like he was almost throwing up a lot of this life energy as well. I mean, yeah. So that happens, you know, Moro is looking weaker. And as he is, you know, looking all disheveled, he starts, he starts growing looking his mustache. Shriveled. Yeah, looking shriveled. He, he start, <laughs> he start looking like my freaking, uh, my hair underneath my, around my head, freaking just growing out like, oh my goodness. So this man looking all old again, slowly but surely, uh, then he starts questioning, what have you done? And Vegeta explains, all that spirit you stole for yourself, those souls, that life energy, I've simply liberated it. And then he puts his hand up, fist clenched, releases, and then all of the life energy and the souls that he absorbed and ate literally just go right back to where it came from. Doesn't doesn't even have to be like on Earth. Like it doesn't matter how far that John had automatic GPS tracking. <laughs> and I was like, dude, that is fire. Now what's even more fire is that oh, so you would think like where where where's one of the stops, right? Well, you have to ask yourself, what's one of the stops? And you'd think. Well, has to be some, some, well, at least one has to be Namek, right? New Namek. Absolutely correct. But here, the better part about that is we learned that the the energy, you know, and the life energy returns to, you know, you know where it came from. And that obviously has to do with, uh, like, people that either died or they just got their ass beat up really bad. But the thing about the Namekians, though, is that they have, if they're beings with potent life energy, to which their bodies don't necessarily, like, like, corrode or, like, they don't, like, dishevel or essentially become one with the earth. They don't come, they don't, they don't deteriorate or become skeletons. We see an image of Namek, these Namekians... Of course, this is after a bunch of, like, you know, fighting again w between Vegeta and Moro. Is that they're all, like, their bodies were just there. Like, New Namek was, like, you know, obviously, like, pre like their, their race was essentially, like, wiped out. And imagine you seeing all these dead bodies and they're just, they just start waking up. Except not on some Walking Dead type shit. It, this is, like, the, the actual natural way. Like, they, all, their life energy was actually returned to each individual, which was fucking awesome. And they even say that. They're like, I think a number of the Namekians have come back to life. But how? Well, not the ones Moro killed himself, but the ones who died when their energy got sucked away. So therein lies a rule that if your life energy was sucked away, so long as you are a being of potent life, which was explained by the Yard Rats, by uh, Paibara. Um, what did he say here? He says, when those plants get back their life energy, will the inhabitants be revived? He says, no. 
too much time has passed for most of those alien races to come back to life. However, revival should be possible for tribes with potent life force. So if you have, if you are of a being with potent life force, then as so long as you're, uh, you know that 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 moral use that ability to absorb your life to essentially kill you, if if you if you fulfill those clauses, then you come right back to life. I think that's it. I think that shit was sick. I'm gonna go ahead and just say I feel like uh, a loophole to the pre-existing condition of needing potent life energy is actually just preserving the body. Like imagine they just like yeah they died because they got their life energy sucked out, but they were just chilling in the sand pod in the like the regen pod. I mean, uh, so 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 what you're saying is you think that you think that if like say let's say he killed somebody and the body was kept on reserves then... well it's not the ones that he killed it's just the ones who died by having their energy absorbed. right okay 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 oh i see what you're saying so you're saying that so long as he does he, he you know absorbs their life energy they die or whatever and those that are not of potent life force that their have their reserved. bodies preserved somehow yeah put put them in the freezer like whether it's like cryogenic yeah exactly uh. it's gonna be something like that or it's gonna be like the saiyan regens like that that thing that you know yeah i got you okay yeah i think that that, that would be a sick loophole if we if we we're to ever get to that point <laughs> if Yo, they if they, if they rate, can't handle this guy i don't know but so okay so yeah so we're at the so the namekians are coming back to life and they're like what happened to us they don't even know what the hell happened we go back to the fight vegeta is still giving the hands and feet to this guy moro's just getting older he's kind of like regressing back to like his former state and this is where we start to get to like some of the best parts of this chapter mm -hmm. okay now we have been ha we've had lots of conversations on this podcast. We've had lots of conversations outside this podcast. And a lot of the the thing the thing that brings about a chapter or a series to be as good or as great or as godlike as it is deemed by the fans is when you have things that are brought up in your everyday like you know fandom where it, it's like a it's like a topic that's discussed amongst the fandom whether it's on social media or at conventions or wherever you know ideas being spread being shared you know about characters and storylines and whatnot and when we see the creators of said you know franchise or you know media whatever it is we see these creators take those same concepts those same topic of the, the topics of discussion and they implement it into the story to then validate everything that we've already been feeling for the longest time it just gives you a very positive and great sensible feeling like wow we were right like this is exactly how it is and they confirmed it for us within this chapter and exact and what i might what i what am i talking about you might ask well we're gonna get right into that right now so piccolo starts off the conversation and he says hey goku did you ever think he could grow this much goku looks over him all beat up and shit eyelid He'd freaking like, twitching nah, he still looks five four to me <laughs> <laughs> He said, can't say I did. I didn't expect him to learn that new move or to get this strong. Piccolo says, not just in that sense. I can't get over how much he's grown as a person. Now, when Goku had that question mark, I was like, I had the same, I had a similar question mark, but my, mine was with an exclamation point. Because I was right. like, I was yeah, like, it wasn't <gasps> a question mark. It was a, <gasps> I was like, we really about to have this conversation in the manga? Yeah. <laughs> in the manga son <laughs> so they have a shot they have a wide shot 
of Vegeta and, and Moro fighting, and Piccolo is providing all this dialogue right now. And he goes, have you forgotten how once upon a time he showed up to invade the Earth? And now look, he's fighting to protect this planet. More than that, it's like he's trying to atone for the sins of his past. And Goku's like, sins? And then Piccolo says, like the mass slaughter on Namek, or all terrible things he did as part of Frieza's army. Gohan is like surprised. Jacko's like speechless. Goku, slightly speechless. And he goes, is he really thinking about all that stuff? Because the, fi the, the, the fact that Goku even said it like that, man, this guy, this guy already forgot about half that crap, probably. And Piccolo, yeah. Piccolo says, I think he means to wipe the slate clean by saving our universe from Moro. And then he goes on to say, it's all because he met you, Goku. You've changed him. Goku's like, who, me? I just wanted to fight the strongest guys out there. And boy, when I when I read that shit, I was like, man, this shit is very true to the characters. Let me tell you, that is a very Goku response. And then Piccolo's like, and that works for you. You haven't changed a bit from day one, and you don't need to change. And 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 I will uh, remind me to bring that up after, because I want to bring, I want to actually elaborate on that a little bit more, for a future topic that I actually want to have on this podcast. Okay. So, let's see. So then he, they, yeah. So then, funny enough, then Goku like, he's like, hmm. So. You're saying that's a good thing? And then Piccolo's like, I wonder. And that that right there is like, that is like a, a very cool thing for the reader to have because it's like, you know, like I said, I, I will bring up more of this later for the, for the topic that I definitely want to have um, like at, on a future episode, but I do want to at least bring it up later on. Um, and then, then Piccolo says right here, it looks like Vegeta managed to one-up you this time confirmed you see it in the speech bubble this is page 30 it was confirmed toyotaro wrote it toriyama approved it yeah <laughs> vegeta managed to one up goku 100 percent confirmed right here chapter 61 history was made history was made guys we did it vegeta actually surpass this guy one time all right so goku was like yeah but i'll surpass him against you uh, oh he said I'll, but i'll surpass him again just you wait again a very goku like thing to say so then vegeta asked jacko this is when this is when it gets spicy right he goes do you want this one captured alive or should i eliminate the problem altogether and Jacko says, crush him, <laughs> please. I mean, duh, we were only keeping him locked up because there was nobody who could kill him. If you can be that one, that executioner, be my guest. And then Vegeta goes, you heard him. Sadly for you, I'm no naive fool like Kakarot. You'll regret ever breaking out of prison once you're in hell. And then the conversation continues between him and Moro. Moro says, so? You believe you aren't going to hell? And Vegeta says, when I die, naturally I'm bound for hell. At the end of the day, I'm a villain. I've been prepared for the consequences for quite some time. Moro says, right. Vegeta says, but you first, wait for me down there. Once I'm dead, I'll pop by to say hello. Dude... Let me tell you, this is probably one of the most badass things I've ever heard Vegeta say, or any character for that <laughs> point yep. in Dragon Ball. Like, I will say right now that it was a bit of a shock to hear Vegeta say these words. That at the end of the day, he's a villain. That he's been preparing for this consequence, his, you know, for, for quite some time. Like, those are pretty bold statements. And to show you, like, like 
just the kind of things that that like the like, like the humanistic side to Vegeta, like the things that go on actually at the end of his at the end of the day through his head, like he's been through so much, which we were reminded of from Piccolo, like just a page ago, and here we are. It's 2020. It's chapter 61 of the Dragon Ball Super manga, and this guy, it's almost like this character is coming full circle almost. Not even full circle, but he he is he is like he is taking so much exponential growth that this 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 scene in itself added so many layers, like more layers to Vegeta. That I'm just like, as soon as I read that shit, I was like, this is the best character. Free. <laughs> like I, I uh, like I couldn't, dude. I really couldn't. I was like, the, the, Vegeta's the best character. Like, he has he has the best story in Dragon Ball. Like, 100%. Like, he has, next to his son, funny enough, he, this guy's the best character. Actually, next to Broly, can't, I, I'm sorry, I'm the Broly guy. I can't not mention him once, but Vegeta's like, dude, OD. But of course, Moro says he's not, he has no intention of going to hell. He still has his magic. So, this is where it's like, okay. We were expecting something to happen, right? Like, like you know, we still have a, a lingering 7-3, and that's exactly what ends up happening. Moro is kind of escapes for the time being. He pretty much just, like, jolts right back up high into the sky where his spaceship was. Now... Who was waiting up there was actually Shimo Reka, who was the little guy with the uh, romper. And uh, 7-3, who I just mentioned. Excuse me, for those that don't remember, 7-3 was the, I guess you could say, like, the hit Frieza-esque lookalike character <laughs> that had the ability to absorb people's, like, abilities and use them at his disposal and he could store up to three you know i guess copies of somebody and then use them at will he had now you know this was something i never forgot he had moros like as a backup so essentially i remember back there was a, there was a at one point there was a time where people were saying like oh gohan versus moro this is like Gohan versus 7-3 was essentially the moral proxy. So people were already kind of trying to jump the gun and being like, oh, like, does Gohan have a chance? Is this time for Gohan? Like, the, the usual, right? <laughs> Every time is time for Gohan. Dude, it, Gohan can blink. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the moment, guys. The redemption. It's happening. <laughs> Fucking idiots. It's the revelation. Yeah. Yeah. So... So yeah, so then here so here comes 7-3. And Moro without even hesitation, he kills Shimo Reka. Like fried this man. Like like burnt chicken. Like this dude was toasted, roasted. Like he looked worse than any kind of toast you you would you would leave in the toaster for over a minute. It was bad. And then he instantly, he like stuns, he stuns 7-3 and he says, fortunately for me, I planned ahead and kept a backup inside you just in case. Then proceeds to literally devour this guy. Like when I say devour him, I don't mean he was absorbing him. He literally picked him up like a toy and started like actually eating this dude, like swallowed the guy whole. Kinda like Cell and 17 and 18. Right. <laughs> so like, we're almost there. We're almost at there so we can fully discuss this whole shit. So Vegeta witnesses this. Moro for a short time has uh, a pretty big belly. Vegeta tries to throw a key blast at him. There's some dust. It looks like it was strong enough to obviously destroy that spaceship. The dust clears, and Vegeta sees what we see in mo in a moment. Vegeta gets knocked right down to the ground from out of the sky. And of course, the last panel on this page, page 
41. I saw something that literally had my whole mood destroyed. Uh-huh. I, yep. I saw <laughs> Vegeta yep. in base form. Looking like he was hurt. Mm-hmm. As soon as I saw that. Bitched. I, <laughs> I literally was like. Bitched, bro. Uh, I was like. It can't happen like this. I was like, not like this. It better not, man. Turn the it page. It better fucking not. And Moro is now undertaking a brand hey, new can form. We, can we talk about that panel where Gohan's like, Dad, it's Moro. Look at Goku's face like. Oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> I still see that. He's like, ah, shit. <laughs> 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 Stressed, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that face is super funny, but but yeah. Then Moro slight like slowly descends to the ground before them, and uh, he and I called. He looks like Devil Man. This form that he has, he literally looks like Devil Man. For those that don't know about Devil Man, Google Devil Man. It's actually De uh, Devil Man Crybaby. Oof. Literally a 10 out of 10 anime. But that's besides the point. He looks like Devil Man. And he looks younger. He kind of looks stronger than we that we've seen him before. This man looked like he's like eight 18 year old moral. Maybe 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 20 year old moral. Right? And then so this part, this next part that I'm about to I'm about to read. I'm going to also elaborate on a little bit. All right. So he goes, it wasn't only my magic that I had 7-3 copy. My combat abilities. I was able to create a complete backup within him. And then Gohan's like, and you just absorb 7-3? And he goes, yes, including his ability. This has restored me to my former glory and more. Alas, you people came so very close. And the last panel is Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, and Jacko, all taking some sort of fighting stance. Well, not Jacko, Jacko just about to shit himself. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. But that is how they leave us off. Now, the thing I want to elaborate, Moro says, and I quote, This has restored me to my former glory and more. For you Naruto heads out there, this is reincarnated, like brought back to life, Ido Tensei fucking Madara, exactly as he was, like he said it in, in Naruto when he said, like I have I have been revived, but I am not only just in my prime, but I am even stronger than that. So that's Moro, guys. He is literally stronger than before. You might as well call him Zio Moro. Because this guy is is and, and I can tell you this right now. This dude surpassed Cell. He surpassed Frieza. And who's left is Boo, which is a great which is a great segue. But I want I want to hear your thoughts on all of this before we go into any other segues. We can keep going because I got plenty of segues to backtrack off of. <clears throat> so when it comes to the topic of Majin Boo, because now that you know Vegeta's kind of like I don't know out for the fucking count it looks like so far, and v Goku had some time to like kind of rest up. Gohan and Piccolo have been looking on. They're like the last licks. We also have the androids on standby. Who if Vegeta gets up next chapter holding his arm, I'm closing the fucking book. <laughs> or the the tab. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I uh yeah, man. I don't know. I think that They're better not. Don't I say it. No, 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 listen, listen. I think that, 
I think that this is the this is the part where a few things could happen. Majin Buu actually um, could be of some actual use, possibly. If you know, if he's even a thing anymore. That'd be such another like anticlimactic ending. Fuck that. I agree. Next. I don't want that to happen. The other thing, which is probably even worse of an anticlimactic situation, don't is Beerus shows up. Okay. And he decides to Hakai. And there goes your there goes your whole fucking arc right down the toilet. Again. And uh And then the obvious. Well, don't if, if you're going higher, don't say it. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna go higher. I was just, I was, just, I was just gonna say fusion. <laughs> oh, fusion. Actually, I think that's a, I think that's a decent possibility at this point. Yeah. Because at this it, point, I wouldn't have yeah. agreed last chapter or any chapter before. Yeah. But now we have a problem. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure with how oh you did you did miss one though no i'm getting to it trust me <laughs> okay I, I, at, thi at this <laughs> you fucking think the full power podcast is not gonna have any kind of inclination to this character like come on bro this podcast was made for this character. You say you think I'm not about to go there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who you're talking exactly. to? Exactly. Like, who the fuck do you think I'm I going am? there, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, at this rate. Oh, my God. At, at this very rate. After seeing this man, Vegeta, literally give this, this guy Moro the hands and feet several times. Literally, almost it's almost like he reversed the effect of his own ability with the life energy absorption, the spiritual energy absorption. Like, he literally kicked it out of him to the point where he gave it back to all of the rightful owners. But now, it that I don't think that's really been a problem anymore. Because if he has 7-3's copy ability while also restoring him while restoring himself to his former glory, which is, I would say that's another way of saying his prime, okay? Like, that is... Yeah, that, of course. It's like a synonym, all right? And beyond that, like, he's, he's beyond his prime in this state right now. Like, I don't, I don't see how what Goku has already done, what Vegeta has already done, could be of any kind of real effect so therefore that's why i'm saying even if they got broly even if broly showed up even if goku was like hold on i'll be right back and just fucking <laughs> instant transformation isn't and 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 he, and he goes to vampa and he goes broly i need a favor but i don't have that much time to explain but i need your help and he fucking Bring, look, look, fan service, this is me talking, right? I would shit myself. I would be totally okay with it. I'd be hype as fuck. But the realistic content creator in me knows that that shit is not happening. So, again, I just have to put that out there and remind all the viewers that or listeners that are holding out hope the, the, the few of you out there that are Broly fans just like me that are still praying that they bring this guy in this fucking arc I, dude I I don't think it's gonna happen I think we can we can we, we can put that to rest that like because I I just I don't think it's gonna do anything so and then there's another possibility where it's like Miris gets involved but I don't know you know I'm gonna piggyback off that and I'm gonna say that that wouldn't be an anticlimactic ending I don't think I don't think so I don't think so either because I, I think that that would be an interesting like possibility I'm gonna say right because when you think about it the angels are not supposed to get involved in shit right however they have previously 
like other angels have and they've gotten erased for it like even though we you know was technically ordered by beerus during the whole frieza incident to rewind time that is still a form of getting involved and you know beerus is a god of destruction so technically it's i feel like it's iffy whether he could have made that restoration call on earth anyway but besides the point i feel like if miris got involved with this because of the way it was progressing or i guess regressing at this point because this is this shit's getting ugly quick mm -hmm. i feel like him getting involved and then being erased would be on some sacrificial power shit for the saiyans and what does that do to the situation that we all were waiting to happen? It kills it. Exactly. Completely kills it. Now, let's say this. Let's say if this was your everyday Dragon Ball arc where they're fighting some strong-ass villain, they're, everyone's getting their hands... And it's up to Goku to fucking do the deed, do the job, get it done. Like any other time, it would be whatever. And if any other time, this same shit happened, minus all the really awesome fucking Vegeta shit. I think that that situation with Miris, because if you think about it, that would be our first look at an angel fighting yep. we would literally see why they don't get involved why they're literally not allowed to because they are broken they are characters that are not meant to fight for that reason because they are too they're they are that strong they're that strong that they're just not supposed to fight because there's no like, there's no Mace balance is an angel in training what if he what if he did get involved and couldn't handle it and moro killed him like that way he didn't even have to get a race imagine the Pain and anger that would cause. Well, we all know what happens. Exactly. The Saiyans that exactly. make friends with just about anybody and see them go, and what that'll do. And 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 fig. And you know what, man? No, I don't want that shit to happen because then that's definitely a Goku. <laughs> that's definitely a Goku, man. That's definitely a Goku ending. Come on, bro. I, I look. I don't want. Look, I want Mirrors to say the fuck out, because if, as soon as we see that guy come through, it's over. That means that he's gonna get involved. You, what you said is exactly right. He is a angel in training. He's of the angel race. He's freaking Weiss's brother for all for for crying out loud. And the fact of the matter is, is if he decided to take it upon himself to make his own decision, make his own choice, to literally put all that angel shit behind him for the greater cause to defend the earth and those that Moro, ha Moro has life absorbed and killed and all this other craziness, right? He's gonna do he's gonna do the job and he's gonna try and fight. And then Moro fucks him up or he kills him when he comes so close. And that is what fucking gets Goku to master Ultra Instinct and there's your story. I don't want it to happen. Agreed. I don't want it to happen. I th that's so that is so formulaic as as cool of a scenario that it is. I don't <laughs> want it to happen. Why don't I want it to happen? Isn't it obvious, guys? We've literally been talking about this for months. We have been hyping this shit up for months. This arc almost you could argue was essentially written for Vegeta. So that way he could have this crazy fucking moment where he has these layers added to his character, which happened in this chapter, for him to be the guy that gets it done. That literally, not even, not, not even just so that it's, it, it, it stays a dialogue bubble out of a singular panel in this chapter where they confirmed it that he did one up goku for once so it, so it's not just that so it so that he, he actually one up does goku it. when he fought 19 no one remembers that shit though <laughs> you think you think anyone's thinking about the fucking androids during that time right now the only thing that people are even referencing to any of those relatable instances 
was for that fucking meme for Vegeta when he did the when he did the pose. And then it was like, oh, we've seen this before. When he did it this you know time, that, that time. Exactly. And then he gets washed. And look what happened. He got fucking knocked out already. His 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 chapter, he gets fucking put down. Same chapter. Like, it's unbelievable. It's literally unbelievable. Like, you know, they couldn't give him one whole chapter. No, couldn't. They gave him like a good majority, but came came a couple pages too short. So, I can I can say this as well. Um, this is kind of this kind of validates our relationship because uh, we are very spot on with you know this shit with with anime and Dragon Ball especially. And I gotta tell you, like, you, 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 all you had to say was one little thing, and I understood you. I understood the scenario that we're not trying to have, and I just fucking, I just, yup, dude. I, I, I no, but now I'm, now I'm actually gonna get mad. I am actually, <laughs> I'm actually gonna get mad, dude, because, dude, I, I, oh my god, we've, we've, we have, we have done this. We we, have, we do this. We, we really do this. That's why we're here. That's how we got here. Like we, our conversations are full power, out of control. We have literally done this for a lot of different shit, and within Super and Dragon Ball, like it's one of those things, man, where it's just like no, like like no, like we we oh my god, we will not speak this into existence like, it, because. Dude, you, it's like you see how the story is unfolding. We see mm-hmm. one little detail shared. We see anything happen. And we... We already know Beerus is on his way to get some tasty food. Mm-hmm. And who they're going to bring along? Nope. See? Again. 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 We... Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. This is... It's like it's... It, I. Oh, my God. This is going to suck. This is going to suck, dude. This is literally going to suck. This was supposed to be the greatest arc that we've seen yet. For this fucking manga and for Super as a whole. This was supposed to be better than the Tournament of Power. This was supposed to be better than Trunks and Goku Black. This, no. Had Vegeta, no. Dude, I'm telling you. So, I'm gonna go back with some of this shit because mm-hmm. I'm I'm really I'm really tight at that as well so I need to make myself feel better so we're gonna go back in time real quick in this chapter okay I want to talk about I want to talk about some references that have been happening I want to talk about some just some references maybe I'm the only one that thinks this but I'm gonna just get them out there anyway see yeah. if anybody agrees with that shit obviously the whole thing 7-3 getting eaten by Moro that is some cell shit I don't care what you say that is some that's cell definitely shit. cell the end yeah that's dope the end Good, but good I would out. like to talk about when Piccolo was giving Vegeta his moments in this chapter, right? That was huge, obviously. Right. But the panel of, like, the wide panel of Vegeta and Moro fighting and, you know, Vegeta's literally just punching the spirit out of man's. Yeah. I think this is so, this is so, like, such an homage because literally vegeta gave a whole monologue while goku was fighting kid boo yep. now vegeta's getting his yup and the only difference is that stop well call a spade a spade might as fucking stop. well finish the sentence so i just i like that i like the idea that he's trying to atone for everything i like the idea that he's staying true to his character like he is a villain that's just doing what he wants and what he wants is to protect and that's cool and he's not he's not forgetting that you know like he has made mistakes in the past he's trying to own up to it he's trying to be a man about it you know so i really like that vegeta's definitely fucking 20 out of 10 character development 100% 100% but 47 out of 10 four, pff, I can't So I, I just want to talk about how like What kind of Like what kind of show Gives character development To the point where One fight obsessive Dumbass 
changes every villain like almost every villain he meets to the point where one villain is praising another on how much they've like he's grown as a person and they've both grown to be good individuals like y'all gotta remember demon king piccolo yo neither of them were good people right that's and now you got now you got both of them good as hell protecting everyone doing you know like doing good things and acknowledging each other i mean you know like vegeta you know where i'm going with this though yeah so i just i thought that was like that was that was insane i really like i like to see that i just don't i don't like where this is going obviously i'm not a fan of this they really could have given him at least a whole chapter i want to know about seven three having his having moro's combat abilities copied because he was like oh i didn't just copy my magic i copied my combat abilities too so i was like wait a minute so you took up two of his three casino slots or what is this because now i'm wondering was his combat power really based on the like on the life energy he had yeah like that part was a little because like was worded that, a little weird that should be something that's just in his brain right that makes sense yeah so it's like copying magic copying a special move like you know like a final flash or something like that you know a gallic gun like i can understand that big bang attack but copying somebody's like punches and kicks like you really don't know how to do that shit on your own like you forgot you lost your life energy and you just forgot how to fight but all right that's that's whack but moving on from that you know he absorbs 7-3 and i'd like to talk about another type thing with this whole vegeta character development where another homage in my opinion he's eating 7-3 like i said this is some cell shit (laughs) <laughs> but instead of Vegeta cross arm and smirking, saying "Go ahead, let me see, let me beat you at your strongest," Vegeta is stressed, yeeting that energy bar at him as fast as he can, trying not to let that happen. Yep. He's not being cocky. He's not letting him transform or do some dumb shit, reach the, n- the next level of power. He is like, "No, you don't," and he's literally trying to stop that shit as quickly as possible. Man, my man. And that's not Vegeta's style. Dude, my man Vegeta grew so much, he had manners. He asked Jackal, do you want him alive or do you want him dead? (laughs) My man Vegeta grew so much, he had manners. Like, that's crazy. I'm sleep. Dude, that actually happened, though. He asked him first. That's like knocking before just intruding, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, this chapter, man. This chapter was so great, it was terrible. Like, ima- imagine that. That 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 is that is 2020 defined. I can't believe this. Uh, well, what are your predict predictions if you have any that we haven't already like you know? essentially figured out what the hell is happening with the rest of this freaking arc i'm seeing i'm seeing the mirrors route i'm seeing i'm seeing the fusion route at this point i'm seeing the fusion route because you know what vegeta straight up stated gotta find it gotta find it i'm trying to quote this shit Mm mm-hmm But yeah, anyway, he stated that he did not like the whole idea. He said, to be honest, this never sat well with me. Like absorption, fusion, all that stuff. It doesn't reflect one's inherent power. Ah, All I crave is a fair fight. Right. Well, guess what? Your fair fight went out the window. You said fusion. He thought of fusion. He already had the backup ready. He said, yeah, yeet. He went in 873. It is no longer a fair fight. You can put your pride away. You can put this and that away. Get ready for Fusion Ha. Because there's now, I think, there's a decent fucking chance. For Fusion? You can get your white haired Mastered Ultra Instinct. You can get Miris as the reason he even triggers the form correctly this time. You could have the Fusion route going first before we even get to that part of it. Like, 
there's so many different things that can happen now but all i know is that vegeta needs to get the fuck up both of his arms up i want to see him holding his arm he needs to get up he needs to you know like spit that shit out and he needs to get back to it goku, goku needs to sit the fuck down okay i got i got a scenario for you then i have a scenario for you that i just thought up this is this is for us okay this is this is not we're not about to talk about the things that we've already talked about no we're not going to elaborate on the shit we don't want to happen that we can definitely foresee happening we've already we talked about it there. if you want to talk if you want to hear about it y'all could just rewind this episode but no <laughs> i'm going to tell you a scenario that we need to happen okay so we brought up a lot of things that changed with Vegeta, with his growth. A lot of things that he normally would be doing in these fights that he's not. That he's clearly showing this 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 exponential growth within his own character. He isn't he is not cocky anymore, right? But you know what? Who who you know who might be? Moro. So here's my scenario. Moro is literally, as he said, restored. To his former glory and more, aka infinity and beyond. This man is Buzz Lightyear. Okay. Oh, I can't. So listen. It gets to the point where Moro is just free balling. Like he is freeing up all these characters. <laughs> What's a Goku? What's a Gohan? What's a Piccolo? Jacko's already dead. What's a Vegeta? Like he is just molly whopping these characters. You know what he does? He goes, Say, Vegeta, don't you have a wife and kids? And he goes to find them. He finds them, and he literally, like, yo, he puts hands on Bulma. And that is when we see Vegeta pull a Goku. And there you go. Yep. It saves the entire arc. Boom. We get our moment. We literally... That is the... That is the f the grand finale. Vegeta whips out some shit that not even Goku has yet. It doesn't even matter. I don't, I'm not even trying to say like, oh, Goku... Uh, Vegeta's turned to go Ultra Instinct. No. If, even, if it, even if that's what it is, I'll still pop off. I'll still go crazy. But if he was to... If he was to do something that... Like... But yo, yo, check this shit out. I, I'll, I'll fuck with you guys' heads a little bit more. What if my man got so tight that his body, his Saiyan body, didn't know what to do with itself, that it just started breaking all sorts of rules? My man's tail came back, and he went beyond. He no, he fucking goes Ozaru, son. He freaking turns into the Great Eagle Super Saiyan ten, and this man Moro is done, son. There's your, there's your fucking scenario. That's O.D. Dude, we we need something that crazy. We to, I mean, we do to re redeem and wash away the actuality of what's about to fucking happen in this in this arc. You, you know what I, f you know what I feel like is a, a decent percentage of actuality for what might come next is vegeta's on the fucking ground right now and we got fucking 47 3 moro at this point <laughs> because <laughs> because this shit is officially out of control um but i wanted to say like yo vegeta's on the ground and moro has 7 3 what if he copies spirit vision holy shit well, what does he, what does he no need fusion. that? What does he need that for? What, what does he need that 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 ability for? He doesn't. So he's just gonna take it. But he's he has magic. He has more like his own natural magic mixed in. What if he can? What if now because he's not just back to his former glory, he's more. What if he can't just copy abilities? What if he deletes them? <laughs> Fuck out of here, son. Oh my god. I don't want that shit to happen. This character already is broken as it is. Cause Moro. like think about it. Like you can't go the spirit the spirit bomb route with this character. It's not possible. Oh, you would eat it. Exactly. You can't go that route. So that's cooked. This is done. Fusion. Um one one grab. And he could split it. Uh, that's dude. Done. That's OD. 
That's crazy. If if we if one we grab and he could split the fusion. Oh my god. So no fusion. That's with Vegeta's fission ability though. Yes. Okay. So that's why you yes. want you just wanted him to do it just so we can see it. That would shit on Gogeta. What? That would no. I don't want that you to happen would. at all. No, I don't want him to shit. On, yo, relax. <laughs> They, yo, they're they're setting him up to be the second most ultimate shitter in the Dragon Ball <laughs> franchise right now. Yeah, second most. Who's the first? The only one not to take the L. Who's that? Zamasu. Ah, <laughs> uh, he went there, guys. It, hey, full power. It, he he gets one too. That's fine. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. You can't tell me I'm wrong, bro. We've been over this. We have a whole section, a whole episode dedicated to me explaining that no Dragon Ball character defeated my man Goku Black. <laughs> well. I it wasn't a character. It was a human being. Well. It wasn't even a Saiyan. <laughs> it wasn't even a Saiyan. Dude, what if what if what if he comes in? No, stop. Stop. Then, then, then you know then what you know what happens? Then 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 the next chapter we notice that the the title is called Dragon Ball Superheroes. <laughs> You're a dick. That's literally what it turns into. That fucking here we become heroes. Oh no, 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 please no. That's a joke. He said, he said that's a joke. Yeah, I for, I keep forgetting yeah. to watch the new one for that shit too. But this is uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do about this. This fucking new Moro. This is. I'm telling you, bro. This is a problem. This is a. This is a very. This is. This is. He dressed like Majin Buu, but he's fused like fucking. Hit and cooler. You know. Okay. Looking at looking at this this true Moro, this evolved Moro, right? If you look at his de is his design, he does look like he had like what you said. He's got like the Majin Buu pants, those baggy Johns, which I yeah. totally would love to have for myself. And the way <laughs> the way his pattern is with his his um, his it's, chest it's plate hit and cooler. No, but listen, with his chest plate and then like the shit going around his like traps to his back, dude, it's almost like he is he is his own gogeta with the vest or go tanks with the vest oh my it kind of looks like that though especially when you look at it from the back and the side when you when you look at it like with the whole perspective of he's even got like the wrist johns that he's got the the wraps around his shoes the shoes are the same dude he, this like, guy is his own fusion character he is literally his own fusion he's character. his own fusion character yeah yeah he is that shit is crazy like oh my god i can rock with that yeah, man, like he he he's looking fresh. Like, like I'm not gonna lie, he's I, the goat. I, yes, that is, he we have established that since the first time we have we saw this the guy. first time we saw him. Memorial's the goat. <laughs> yeah, he is the goat. But but nah, like this form that he has, dude. Like this is like this is this is not even like. Let's think about this. Frieza had a hundred percent full power. Cell even had a hundred percent perfect full power whatever the fuck it was called out of control this guy has his true like he has his true former glory and more form that that's his that's that's that is prime plus so what? They did the Prime Plus with Cell 2 after Goku sacrificed himself and blew King Kai's planet up. Cell came back to his former glory and more. Yeah, well, but listen, but, said, but Cell literally looked the same. My man Moro has yeah, a oh, whole that's not new true. shit. That's not true. He had that Super Cell, Super Cell in 2. He had Get that electric that aura around shit. him. Yeah, the sparkles. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah, to he had the Party sparkles, City sparkles, $5. Bro. You know what that Get means? Get the fuck out of here that shit. <laughs> oh yeah yeah you, you, we have a better chance of seeing bruce falconer start releasing <laughs> songs for the manga start writing songs for moro like <laughs> fuck out of here man that's crazy shit dude moro's od this guy is crazy like 
He he. I think he. I, I, I think he's the best. Does seven three still have that ability copied where he can just open portals wherever he feels like? Because that would have me stressed. Wait. That'd be on. That's that'd be on some Janemba shit all over again. Yeah, it would. Because then at that point, it's like, okay, he's a hybrid. I mean, even Zamasu in the manga did that shit. That shit was... I, I did forget about that, not gonna lie. Yeah, that was intense. Okay, well, outside of that, chapter 62, slated for July 20th. We're definitely out... That, that, and I checked, it's a Monday that when it comes out, so... We'll definitely try to get that. That will. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say episode 19 is gonna be then. Hopefully, we'll have episodes prior leading up to that. But for that that week, we'll definitely have FPP out early that week, so y'all don't have to wait all week to hear us talk about the latest chapter. Um. With that being said, is there anything else you want to add before we go to these comments from last episode? Long live Prince Vegeta. Don't say it like that, man. Come on now. You, 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 the way you said that, you said it like it's over already. <laughs> like it's done. And the freaking silence does not help. All we can do is send our prayers. This guy, I gather our dragon this guy, balls, make our this wishes. Guy, the, then call the freaking hearst and the freaking funeral. Come on, bro. Called the hearst. They put this. M- they put him in the dirt, bro. Oh, I'm no. gonna stay. I'm gonna stay hopeful because exactly. That's yeah. That's go all ahead. I got. You, the sec. The, exactly. the second I see Miris, though, I'm gonna start shitting myself. Anyway, let's see. So we got we got a few comments. Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. All right, so I'm gonna read this from bottom up. So, this person said, more than likely, Vegeta will get smoke, like usually. <laughs> wow. Goku is the main character, plus he's more liked in Japan than Vegeta. Think people forget that. Plus, here there is also a big divide between who likes who. I'm a Broly person. Oh, nice. Uh, but, <laughs> but also like Goku more than Vegeta. If they didn't give it to Vegeta, I wouldn't care one bit. But we'll see what happens. I'd much rather both them get smoked and Broly come in and take it, if anything. <laughs> he is the most powerful of the three anyway, after all. Wow. Now, I respond to this person. I said, bias me wouldn't even want that despite how I feel about Broly because I know I wouldn't stop hearing complaints from fans all over, which is very true. While the other side of me would totally be okay with that, but... Nah, I'm not cool with that. Fuck that opinion. I say that because Vegeta needs his dub. Vegeta deserves one dub. Broly can get his turn eventually. Let Vegeta have this. Uh Uh-huh. I agree with that. Vegeta should have had it when Frieza pulled up for, like, the third Uh time. Like, come on. Yep. He definitely should have. Stop juking, mans. (laughs) Uh, next person says Super Saiyan Blue key isn't sensible either, so that didn't make sense. Um, oh, yeah, I I agree with that because they did say that originally. Like when Goku even turned red for the first time, they were like, "Oh my God, I can't sense his key." Oh, it's because he's in God key. Like now what? Now it's only for Ultra Instinct. Mm. Head ass. Forget your own writing. <laughs> that is a that is a plot hole. That is that is that's a plot that's hole. That's a definite plot hole for sure. And then uh, same person says, "Watch Boo wake up and beat Moro." Stop. Please stop. Um, let's see. This is a kind of a long one. Okay. I don't know if anyone realized this, but if you look back on page 25 of the manga where Goku's powering up and his muscles are bulging, you can see those weird shapes coming off of Goku's UI aura. Knowing that Goku is struggling to keep up with the omen form, those odd shapes seem seen in the aura could have been a hint to him slowly losing his power. If you pay attention, 
Those shapes seen in the aura look oddly familiar to those irregular shapes seen in the Super Saiyan Blue form. Could it be that since Goku is struggling to keep up in Ultra Instinct that he's slowly powering back down to Super Saiyan Blue? The idea isn't exactly too far off. That could also explain why Goku's muscles started to bulge out since UI, in the manga at least, isn't known for having big muscles. I think Toyotaro put that down as a subtle hint to show how Goku was slowly coming out of UI and powering down back to his most capable form, which is blue, but he didn't fully power down to there and instead went right back to base. I believe... I oh, you, you said... Go ahead, go okay. ahead. Um, I believe that it was also very clear that Goku was using too much of his own mind rather than clearing it during the portion of the fight due to him not being as adept in using the form. If you noticed, Goku was too focused onto the offensive side of things that I pretty much set aside the effects that UI had given him earlier on and was starting to show as Moro was landing more hits than ever. End. So I wanted to like piggyback off that real quick because that made me think like what if they did this is this is like this is wild and this is full power out of control i'm just warning you right now this is gonna be one of those theories okay but whoa, <laughs> yo i'm gonna start it like this what if we see goku trying to scrap a moro and like i said that piggybacking off that whole idea of like moro taking that spirit fission you were like was he even gonna do with that and we we're like oh well you know he can you know like he can cancel fusion like that had we gone the fusion route yo what did vegeta get on his own with his own training and energy that goku did not super saiyan mm, there's a word you're missing there's a word I'm missing. Yeah. Was it? Wait. Super Saiyan God. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So I mean, I wasn't wrong. What if because Vegeta trained for it and he achieved he achieved a uh, blue status on his own, and like since Goku had to like become a god with his friends, what if Moro broke that? What if he broke it? What if he split? all that that was able to like goku like use to fuse into like the state of the gods oh because shit. vegeta got it on his own so he can't do it to him but goku didn't that... what if he powers goku down like that that okay using vegeta's okay. move okay that would be crazy that's why i said that's way out of line but i had to like say what i was listen there in the quick. current situation we're in right now that ain't out of line at all i mean that's what we need to happen to be honest. Dude, because because then because it's like you, if you strip this guy of any possible power up from the get, which means he would have to go back and like essentially retrain and actually do it the way Vegeta did it. Yup. Then I mean, because he's not look, he's not doing that right now. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. I don't care that you could tell me, oh, but he he mastered Ultra Instinct literally with in the middle of a tournament of power. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It, this is different. <laughs> this is completely different. But yeah, um, yeah, that was a pretty good comment. A lot of a uh, lot of a uh, lot of things were out of that one. Um, okay, <laughs> this is this is actually a funny one. One day I can sense that it'll be the Goku, Vegeta, and Broly show with a triple fusion in the distant future. Dragon Ball Heroes. Stop. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's mad, just so you know, for all those who are like a little lost why we had that stop. Is because anything anything we see in Heroes, we know that's just not going to happen. Dude, it's here. like a hundred percent never going to happen that way. Like, yo, you know how mad I am that they have golden cooler in superhero oh that's facts dude i'm so tight we need a platinum cooler. we need okay i've been saying platinum for frieza for a very long time so if they do that if they do it that way where you know you got that patented they <laughs> pay uchi god man like i'm sick like but yeah i said i even responded to this person i said i've had the triple fusion idea for a while if it does happen i don't know what i'll do <laughs> at that point which is very true 
So, you know, I just well, fusion. I, I feel like fusions. Like, I don't know. Continue. I just feel like the uh, to to just to just to humor this a little bit more is that if you think about it. They oh, needed no. to fuse just to be even with Broly. So is it? Doesn't that already mean like they would have to fuse first? Like they would have to be Gogeta first and then fuse with Broly. That's just that's just that just makes sense to me at least. That dude, that should be crazy. Oh my god. You got me thinking now. Got me in my fan service mind. You can't tell me you never thought about the three-way fusion. No, no, no. I have always thought about the three-way fusion. But, you know, like, I'm just trying to think of how it would work logistically. Like, they're not just going to do a, a triangle fusion dance and then all have their fingers pointing at the exact precise fucking angle. And then, boom, they're bro -gita. Like, no, like, uh, that's... I'm weak. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> it's not happening. I can't. They, they needed to do one few. Honestly, if they make another method of fusion between multiple people, I think that would be ridiculous. I mean, the, the idea in itself is already ridiculous. This man said bro Gita. You got any better names? Gojili? Gojili? That sounds like a sandwich. Bro jizzle? Bro jizzle, yeah, nah. <laughs> like, uh, nah. It would literally be like goalie. No, you. Wow. That sounds stupid. <laughs> 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 Alright, next question. Or next comment, please. What if Goku beat. No. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up because I wanna hear your reaction to this. What if Goku meet his son, Zicker? And Akira Toriyama created him in his own image like he did Dragon Ball Super Broly. And always love your Full Power Podcast. Much love. Well, appreciate that very much. Thank you for listening. But, guys. Okay, the, 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 do you know who the fuck Zikor is? Yes. Okay, so can you tell me, like, do you, like, do you know this person's backstory? Mildly. Okay. What is your mild Mildly. explanation? Because I need. I. I have no idea. Like, I know who the character is. I know what they look like. I don't know. I believe. Shit. I believe Zykor is Goku's like forgotten about child, which is wild. How does that happen? I, sh sh but it is something where it is like <sighs> Goku's evil bloodline. And he obtains all these like godly powers and he understands that you know Goku's you know that boy and he goes on and just as any villain would takes over but this is somebody this is like this is like I don't know I feel like it's on some Goku black shit because it's like it's an evil saying that's actually like their adapt their their power adaptation is just out of control right well i could be wrong about like the specific relation with like the father son thing i'm pretty sure that is the case again i could be wrong but that's pretty much the premise of who that character is and that's that's not dragon ball ev that's dragon ball gtfo mm, well i don't know where the hell that shit comes from i just know that i started seeing this it's Zikor. yeah it's it's from it's from af oh it's from af okay yeah it's like it's one of those like you know side tangent stories because i've i've heard of that character for years me too i just didn't know his backstory at all and now that i'm hearing it i'm just like get this character the fuck out why? of here please yeah like like why like <laughs> like goku's evil lost unknown son who the fuck was goku smacking cheeks with <laughs> Like, let's think about this. How is that possible? <laughs> like, he don't okay, he he don't now, even don't he don't even know how Goten and Gohan happened. He don't even know. Like, all right, hold up, hold up. Oh, you're pulling up like a summary or some shit. Yeah, is the main antagonist 
in Dragon Ball AF, he's actually the youngest son of Goku due to the deceitfulness and trickery casted by the vengeful Western Supreme Kai. The vengeful Western Supreme Kai, thus making him part Saiyan and part Kai. So, a Saiyan god in other wait, terms. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me the fucking Kai of the West soul snatched Goku and literally gave birth to this kid? That's a way to put okay, it. Okay, move. We're moving on. He goes. He goes we're to Earth on. years after Goku's departure with Shenron, his mother, to seek out the strongest and gain position of ruler of the Earth and meet. That his is father. the most Dragon Ball super duper heroes I've ever heard. <laughs> Dragon Ball super duper not in my manga ye yet that I've ever heard. Last thing, the manga had its own take or version of what was shown in the anime, with that being the legendary blue Gatorade Diamond. Let's go. The manga has Stop. three versions of blue. There's per Please. regular blue, perfected Super Saiyan blue, which was used by Goku in the Goku Black arc, and the third blue variant, which was an evolved version of the perfected Super Saiyan blue that Goku had achieved and was used by Vegeta after witnessing Goku breaching his limits and going into Ultra Instinct. Okay. That was like a fact, that was like a knowledge check, fact check kind of thing. Or like a did you know or little did you know side type situation. But uh but yeah guys that's uh that's that's pretty much your episode. Those are all the comments that we went through. If you guys want to uh have your comments uh read out on the next uh, available episode of Full Power Podcast. Just you know, obviously drop the comments down on YouTube, um, or you can use the hashtag #AskFPP and tag us on Twitter, so we can check out you guys' comments and your questions, or if you have any other future topics you might want to have uh, here on the podcast. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, we're hoping for the best for the next chapter. As far as next discussion topic goes, um, there's a there's a there's a specific topic that um, I do want to bring up. At, I don't know what episode number it'll be, but just to keep you guys in the know, I wanted to actually talk about Goku as a whole um, and how the show pretty much revolves around him. And it goes back to when I was uh, I told you to remind me about it when yep, when yep. Piccolo was saying like you don't need to change because you haven't changed a bit from day one and as a result like Goku hasn't changed since he hit his head yeah and but but as a result like because of the way he is you know he effectively changed he's changed uh, like his surroundings like anyone who's around him he he affects and that you know that that's a topic in itself that's his spirit control yes so look forward to that one. I don't know when that topic will be, whether it's next week or a few a few episodes from now. But we're pretty much out of here, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description as always. Um, keep it locked loaded right here on the main channel. Um, stay safe. Stay inside. Uh, stay fresh, of course. And may the power protect you guys. Uh, it's been your boy, Kai and Uch. We'll see y'all next time.